How you going guys? This is Eric and um, I just got this Soto Muka um, multi stove, a multi fuel stove just uh, an hour ago from a local outdoor shop, uh, Race Outdoor. Um, I could only find this uh, at Race Outdoor. They don't have this in BCF, um, Aussie Disposal, uh, Anaconda and uh, Mitchell's Outdoor. So um, Race Outdoor has this one and this is um, uh, the Japanese brand uh, by the way I'm in Australia and um, yeah I was um, in between choosing this or the MSR I chose this because there's no priming they say and um, it cleans uh, uh, it burns clean and less maintenance what they say what the guy say so in the box here as you can see it says um, no priming eliminate suit applicable fuel unleaded gasoline and white gasoline so this is what it says in the pack but the guy said in the store said that I could use shellite or Methylated spirit, but I don't really I'm not really sure but I'm gonna try because he said so um, So um, I Chose to I decided to buy this because One thing um, we're going to the Philippines. Uh, we're hiking Mount Lofty uh, Mount uh, Pulag so we can See the sea of clouds hopefully but the thing is um I grew up at some uh in Sambuanga and it's the southern part and then I'm gonna go there. So I'm gonna fly from Sambuanga to Manila which means that I can't bring any butane um gas with me and I don't know the availability of the butane gas. So I decided to uh get a multi um fuel a liquid fuel um what is it called what do you call this um stove but before i bought this one i already have this cheaper one this is um eight dollars australian so this is i've been using this one it's great um so you got the um piezo lighter there and it's compact small it's really good but I'm not we're not gonna touch that today just showing you that and then well you could put this out of this or I have this one here that I bought just before I got the soda this is a knockoff of ah uh, I don't know what brand it is they have the BRS and they have the other um, the original one the titanium but it's really small and compact so I've got this this one was about nine dollars or something and then you just unfold it this is new I've been using I bought three and yeah it's really small compact but if I don't bring the uh, butane tank and then I have the other type then I use the legs to use it see and then you know get the that and then it stands yeah but this would be all useless when I go to the Philippines because I don't know if those butanes are readily available anywhere or I really don't have to go to Manila just to search for it because with this it says unleaded so I could just go to a petrol station and just um, fill it up so enough about that I'm gonna 
get this out of. So I'm really new at this. So we went out with the missus last year and met this um, mountaineers. And it was they were good fun. They were talking about their trip, so I we got interested. And I said, why not? Let's go. Let's do that thing. So, yeah. So this is that. And this is it. So, the guy opened this up already to make sure that everything is there. So, it comes with a bag. And then, let's see what we have here. We got the instruction and warranty thing. Then, oh, uh, I think this is the bottom piece. Sorry about my dirty finger, fingernails. I'm a mechanic by trade. Just got home from work. So maybe that's it, lay it flat. And then, oh, we got this. I think this is a, ah, windshield. I'll probably not use this because I have a windscreen, windshield thing. And then we have this. Oh, he connected it. He left it connected. Okay. So. Right. So he said to pull this and pull that. Oh, convenient and easy. So this is the pump. Uh, let's see. This is it. It's a really nice... Um, looking and they say operating um, multi-fuel stove this is really unique and nice uh, how they fold in and fold out interesting so that's it you could shrivel it I'm just concerned about this um, uh, tube here Mm, anyway, at least you get this cover here. I better make sure that I don't really kink it. Anyway, so maybe that goes there. Alright. And then, so he said I could put a metal in it. So, why not? Let's try it. If it doesn't work, then I'll go back. What's good about this, it has a really big opening, so you won't really spill a lot of stuff. Mm, yeah, that's about enough. Because if it goes wrong, then I'm screwed. Alright. Okay, let's put this in. So we'll go by what the guy said Just to pump it. There we go. Uh, that's not okay. What does this do? Ah, oh, okay. So we connect it back. So easy as pull and lock in. Easy. All right. So the guy said that if you pump enough. There would be this would be coming out, and you should depress this one to um, be able to pump it. All right, let's go. Noisy light. Okay. It's taking a while. I might pause it. 
Okay, we're back. And as you could see, there's a red line. And they say, there's a red line. And it's good to go. Oh. oh, okay. Maybe it stays that way. All right. So let's plug it in. That's it. Okay, that's in. So I'll just move the camera a bit. So I'll lay it flat. Right. Alright. So get my match. Alright. So we lift like this and then we put it on start so there's like start stop run and air I'll explain air later so Let's put it to start. Oh. And that doesn't work. Okay. So. Metal doesn't work. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, it really doesn't work. All right, metal doesn't work. Guys, full of shit. All right. So what I'm doing now is putting it on air and it's just releasing all the pressure and then I'm gonna come back and um, put unleaded on it and see what happens okay round two now with unleaded all right hope I just hope it didn't damage anything because I'm gonna return this as he said uh, I could use Shilin or Metal so we'll do this all over again all right we're back and um, it's red again ah oh, that was like a thousand <laughs> uh, bumps anyway okay hope this works so everything's the same I'm just gonna do it with a different fuel now so lift and then get the match ready okay put it to start and that works no priming Wow. Wow. There we go. How cool is that? Okay. Let's see if it... How low it would go down. Ah, oh, this is nice. Dying. Wow. Unleaded. I think that's about it. Doesn't really see me, does it? Okay. I think that's dangerous because the propane is just there. 
or ah, that's fine enough anyway. All right, that's so that's it. Uh, my my unboxing and uh, first use. I think it's really good. So now, if you want to close it, so we just switch it to air. So it kills down the um, petrol or the fuel, and just concentrate. Uh, just uh, let the air out, the pressure. Which is really good. Well that's it. Thank you for watching.